CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 176 through 108. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 176. An individual is setting up a new monitor featuring only a DVI input with a desktop computer that exclusively offers an HDMI output for video. What item is required for the technician to successfully connect the two devices? The answer is D, DVI to HDMI cable. A DVI to HDMI cable effectively bridges the compatibility gap between the differing video ports. This cable facilitates the transmission of the digital video signal from the computer's HDMI output to the monitor's DVI input. Since both HDMI and DVI carry digital signals, this cable enables a direct connection without needing any signal conversion, providing a simple and efficient way to link the two devices. Question 177. A technician is addressing an issue with a classroom projector that powers off automatically after being used for a short period of time. What is the most appropriate action for the technician to take in order to fix this problem? The answer is C. Clean the projector's air filter. The projector shutting down after a short period of use is commonly caused by overheating. Projectors have air filters to prevent dust and particles from getting into the internal components. Over time, these filters can become clogged with dust, hindering airflow and leading to overheating. When a projector overheats, it typically shuts down automatically to prevent damage. Cleaning the air filter restores proper airflow, reduces the risk of overheating, and should resolve the issue of the projector shutting down prematurely. Question 178. A technician is servicing a workstation and needs to confirm that its NIC is operating correctly. Which of the following tools should the technician employ for this verification? The answer is B. Loopback plug. A loopback plug is a tool for verifying the functionality of a network interface card, or NIC. This tool is designed to test the transmission and receiving capabilities of the NIC by sending a signal out through the network interface and looping it back into the system for it to be received. Essentially, it acts as a virtual network connection, allowing the technician to determine whether the NIC can successfully send and receive data. This is a direct and effective way to test the NIC without needing to connect to an actual network. Question 179. A technician is diagnosing a laptop that fails to access the internet over the corporate Wi-Fi, but works fine with a wired Ethernet connection. To determine if the laptop's wireless NIC is working properly, which of the following could the technician utilize? The answer is A. Hotspot. The issue is specific to wireless connectivity, as the laptop can access the internet with a wired Ethernet connection. By connecting the laptop to an alternative wireless network, such as a mobile Wi-Fi hotspot, the technician can determine if the problem is with the laptop's wireless NIC or the corporate Wi-Fi network. If the laptop connects successfully to the hotspot, it would indicate that the wireless NIC is functional and the issue may lie with the corporate Wi-Fi settings or connectivity. Question 180. An individual has indicated that their computer does not turn on. After confirming that both the power cable and the electrical outlet are functioning correctly, which hardware component inside the computer is most likely responsible for this issue? The answer is A, PSU. The power supply unit, or PSU, 
is the most likely culprit for the computer not turning on in this scenario. The PSU is responsible for converting electrical power from the outlet into a usable form for the computer and distributing it to all its internal components. If the power cord and outlet are confirmed to be working, but the computer still doesn't power up, it suggests a failure in the power supply, as it's the primary component that bridges external power sources to the computer's internal hardware. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.